Hey friends, so today we're gonna do my fit in five. Fit in five workout. So there's five exercises, 60 seconds each, a total of five minutes. And if you're feeling really ambitious, you can repeat it for two or three rounds, or even five rounds, so it's a half hour workout. Okay, so we're gonna start with the split squat. Get a chair, put the back foot on, you see this? And then you're gonna go down, split squat. 60 seconds. All right, beginners, this is really hard. You don't need to do this. You can put your leg on the floor and just go down. You don't have to go so low, you can just stay up here, okay? So you can go lower or you can go split squat. So you're gonna do 30 seconds and then switch sides, all right? Then from there, you are going to go into your quick step ups, okay? Quick step ups. You can hold on to the chair. Beginners, you don't need to step up so high, find a stool, or just step up from the ground. Okay, there's lots of different ways to do it. You can also then, well, switch legs. 60 seconds on each side, right? So 60 seconds fast. Or from the ground up, okay, 60 seconds in total. So. When you cover both legs at 60 seconds, and then you're gonna go right into hip thrust. So you're gonna go right here, lean back, single leg, hip thrust, down, up. We wanna squeeze that glute. Now this is very difficult for most people, especially beginners. You gotta do it really slow and control for 30 seconds, and then switch sides. You can do it from the ground, and you can also do it with both feet on the ground. So it's called a hip thruster. You wanna really engage the glute, okay? Strengthens your lower back and your glute. Okay, single leg, 30 seconds each. All right, and then when you're done that, that's three exercises. And then of course, you have a fourth, well then, how am I gonna put this? <laughs> your fourth exercises is for your core. So you can use the chair, okay? And go into... Now this is pretty advanced, so you can just do it from the ground. Same thing. Or, Get lower onto your elbows, so that's, that makes it easier. You're just modifying it, right? Then of course, if that's too difficult, just stay positioned, dropping the hip and raising it so your body's parallel to the floor. Work in the obliques. Or just get on your knees, okay? Hip raise. Now, that's 30 seconds on each side, okay? And then you can finish it off with push-ups. If you can do push-ups, you can play with the chair. <laughs> Put your legs on it. Make sure you're on it. Push-up. Jump in, jump out. Now this is more advanced, right? You can also modify it. So you don't need to do a push-up like that. You can just do it on your knees, okay? Or you can use the chair to help you. Okay, you can just do this. Okay. Now, the other move that you want to do, let's say you don't want to do push-ups, you want it to just be the leg day with the bit of core, then you can pick up your chair and literally go into front lunge. You can alternate legs for 60 seconds. Okay, so there's that option. If you want it to just be legs, no chest, no push-ups, and you don't even need to use a chair. You could just put your hands up and go into alternating lunge. You could do single-sided, single leg for, six, for 30 seconds. And then repeat 30 seconds the other side. Okay, so you could do that. 
that's five exercises. Actually, that's one, two, three, yeah. That's actually six. I'm gonna give you a bonus. <laughs> if you have a bar at home, a portable bar, where you can take it off, put it back on, this is great. If you have bands, you can definitely do this bonus exercise. It's a little bit more advanced. This is gonna get me to engage my glute. <laughs> and bands. So for those who are more advanced and you have a bar, you can go into a pull-up, come down nice and easy, go into wide squat and jump. Up, pull, down, one, two, one, two. You get the picture. Up, one, two, one, two. So you can do this for 60 seconds or just 10 rounds. This is just a bonus workout, okay? So you can do that. And then between your pull-up and your squats, if you have a band, you're gonna go into front raise and lateral raise combo for your shoulder, okay? So it looks like this. You go front, side, front, side. So you can do this for 30 seconds. So it looks like this. Side, front, side. Just be nice and controlled with your movements, right? You want to resist the band and put your muscles under tension for longer. 30 seconds. So you burn out your arms, the side and the front of your arms. You go back to pull up, which works the back of the shoulder and the back muscles here. So you're just combining the two, working separate muscles and keeping your cardio going. And you can take as many breaks as you like if this is difficult. Up, back down slow, one, two, so again, 60 seconds, right? 60 seconds of this, 30 seconds of your shoulder raises, front and side, and you do that for 30 seconds. So that's a bonus exercise for the more advanced, okay? You can do that three to five rounds to finish off the exercise, okay? I hope you guys enjoyed it, and don't be afraid to modify. It's so important that you you know, focus on proper form because proper form is key to really sculpting the muscle and getting super strong from the inside out. Have fun. Bye, people.